Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to be doing the last part of the page we're doing in Fragile World by Kirby Rosans. We can keep our fingers crossed for me this time, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be using a background in the uh, Neo Color 2 Aquarelle uh, crayons, okay? I haven't used them in a while and I thought, well, I want to get a kind of a nighttime look here in the background so I wanted it kind of a black and kind of variegated into a blue but keeping it kind of a dark color so I thought about two colors and then I thought now nah, I better throw in a third one <laughs> so I got um, the black a Persian blue and an aquamarine so that gives me a uh, light or blue down here we're only going to go up a little bit and then put in a big block of the Persian blue and then the black up at the top. This is going to have to be done in, I think, three layers to get it a solid black uh, or a solid background. Yes, it's going to be black. I can put black down. <clears throat> I thought about doing it in acrylics, but I don't have a dark enough or light enough blue to blend into a black and it's going to take, it'll dry too quick, I think. So we're just going to do it this way, and we're going to cross our fingers that it works. <laughs> so first off, we're going to take the lightest blue, and we're going to put it down here. So in it goes around all this stuff. We're going to be adding water on here, so um, you don't have to be too perfect because it's going to move with water. <laughs> I mean, if you've used these before, they kind of just smoosh, smoosh around. I don't know what did I say about that much. I want to do it kind of lower, bigger at the next one, so right about here. So we'll only go up about this high. And then we're going to bring some up into there. Okay, here we go, just like that. Do, 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 do. Do. And back over here, and over here. And we're going to bring it up just a bit to be able to blend it into the next color. There we go. Okay, next one is the um, Persian blue. It's going to be darker. Go over that one. We're going to bring it down and into this one. And like I said, this is going to take about three coats to get it solid. The first time we uh, put water to this, it's going to leave a lot of white in the background. I'm not worried about it. Just put on another coat. You'll want to make sure it's, let's see, we're going to go up pretty high with this because we want it to blend in with the black. We'll put it over on this side too. Do do. We'll also be using some of it off of the um, crayon itself. This is the first layer that we can do the coloring with, and then we will just the next couple layers be putting it on from the um, crayon be careful around here and I may have to move the camera so I don't get that into the fur because this will cover gotta kind of be careful that way okay kind of get some of it up there and then we'll bring in the black okay black Now, the reason I was having you cross your fingers is I've never 
<laughs> done a variation on these before. I've done a background, but it was always a splotchy one, so I'm trying to get this to just come up from a blue to black. And then I thought, why not try it on this page? If anything else, I can just get out the black acrylic paint, cover the whole thing up. Uh -huh. Got it right on that tree. That's okay. I wanted to darken up the top anyway, right? Okay. There we go. I'll put a little more of that dark down in here. Doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> okay, paintbrush. <laughs> I have the uh, new paintbrush that I got. This is the Tim Holtz uh, water brush. And it's got a small little tip on it. And so far it just puts out perfect amount of water. So we're going to try this. I'm going to move all these pencils out of my way. Remember where I put the cap. I'm going to turn the book. I have to work from the light to the dark, so I also have to see it. <laughs> so we're going to go in here and move that around and get it nicely activated. to the blue. up into the black up here and if I go over something you can always use the water to get it out of it get some of that off because we have to go back down into the light And then up into the black. Which is going to look like gray right now.
Okay. We're going to go on this side over here because I love putting my hand in wet stuff. And <laughs> do the same thing. up here. Okay. Doing here. Try not to get it on his ear. Around his ear, yes, but not on it. And bring that up to the top. That's the color I'm kind of after. So I may have to put a little more of that darkness down in here. I know it looks awful right now, but you got to have a little bit of an awful, uh, what do you call it, the ugly duckling stage before you can get to the pretty stage. in here. Okay. Now I'm going to let all that dry. Hopefully it won't dry too crooked and we'll be back. Okay, for the most part that is dry. Then I'm going to take the um, second color in that we were using, which is the Persian blue. And I'm pretty sure it's dry enough down here to add some of that in here. Or if you prefer, you can just take it off the crayon. I'm going to take it off the back end of the crayon. Get a little more water on that. There we go. And we're just going to come in here and on top of the color that we already put down, we're just going to add some more. Okay.
Just going to keep on adding a little in there. Get it nice and dark. We'll go on this side. I think the light color I used was a little too light, but it'll help. Sorry about that. Bling, bling, bling goes my watch. It's probably telling me to stand up and walk around. <laughs> I'm busy, watch. I'm busy. dry. on this side. If you hear hammering and that kind of stuff, it's my neighbor and having something done to their house siding, it seems. <laughs> Been at it since eight o'clock this morning. I'm going to go in with the black. Then we're going to bring that down. Blend it right into the blue. And black. Like I said, this is going to take three coats, so one more. Whoops, dripped a little water there. Trying to get a little more water on the brush. That's probably too much. I 
Yep, that's a bit much. So I hope everybody's doing well. And not freaked out on what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, back to the black. And like I said, if this doesn't get black enough up here, I'll just go ahead and put acrylic paint up on the top. But it should. Crash, everything goes. I got some water down here. I want to dry up. Go into the blue and bring some of that blue in there. Okay, and we'll just keep working on it. Black up here. So I'm just going to kind of go in between the blue and the black. And 
I can get in there on some of these colors. Depending on where I am, I'll put a little more blue and or a little more black. It get nice and dark. This guy's nose here. There we go. 
gonna let that dry. I'm gonna clean my hand and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. All dry and we're going to do another coat. I'm turning it this way, I guess. Because I want to go the other direction. So we're going to take the black and the blue and a pen. <laughs> I picked up the wrong thing. And the water brush. <laughs> we're going to do the same thing going the other direction. A couple of, I'm just going in the crayons themselves and tapping into the blue. So when I go across here, I'm going to get a little blue in there. So black and then a little blue. And you noticed I went across here because I want this really dark up here. And then we're going to fade it down a little bit. Okay, so the black is coming downwards. Then we're just going to go in here, go across, and dip that bit up. Make sure we get all those little tree lines nice and dark. Can you see all the way up there? think so. Okay, then we're going to work our way down here. And I forgot to do this corner up here, so we're going to try to get it really well. And I probably got that on another page, but that's okay. Looks like it's on a cloud. <laughs> Looked out. <laughs> okay.
You might take that out. <laughs> kind of bugging me out there. Okay. Go down this way. Okay. Put a little more blue up here. And we're almost there. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And I think that's the last bit we have to use those for. So the gradation comes down really nice. It's dark. I may play with it just a little bit more. But we get our blue down at the bottom and it goes up into the black. It kind of fades. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, ink around the edges here. 
after this dries I'm going to make sure it's dark enough down in this area and it doesn't look too streaky. Uh, another way to fix the streaking is to go in with a pencil and cover up the black areas that you want to cover up. You want to make sure that the colors that you use are a little bit darker than the colors that are on the page so that they will um, blend a little better. If you put light on top of this, it'll show up like a cloud type thing. So we want to be careful with that. And then our um, little mushrooms, we're going to put a little more, uh, <sighs> a little darker green in here because we're at night and we don't want them to look like they're standing out in sunlight. So I will be pulling out a deeper green, I think, to go in there. I don't want the pencils to fall on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we have here oh even a Payne's gray might work because we want to darken some of these areas up in here a little more uh -huh, uh -huh. let's try to get in focus here so we're just going to darken up everything a little bit Shadows can come down from the moon that's up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I like the edges I'm going to do in. Um, do I have an ink out here? Yeah, we'll do it in walnut. Oh. Let's see, do I have a, you're black. <laughs> Working with neo colors with me is just a mess because I'm a messy person. Let's see, nope, I need a piece of paper. I'm trying to find a scratch piece of paper I can use. thought I had one. Well, today it's sitting right here on my desk. Boy, I'm doing good. Okay, going to, if you're wondering if that bled through, this is the other side of the paper. There's no bleed through. It's a little crinkled, but I don't mind crinkly. In fact, I kind of like crinkly. Okay, so a little bit of the, um, vintage photo or not sorry this is not vintage photo this is uh, walnut stain so it's a nice dark brown and we're going to go around the edges here now i filled the whole uh sponge pad full of that color and i'm going to kind of dab it here but i'm just going to go in on the edges of this book and i'm bringing in a nice little dark edge here um i've had people ask about I can go right over those mushrooms too and darken those up. Um, Distress ink will not go over wax based pencils, but it will go over the polychromos. You can get it to stay on there if that is something that you like. The um, polys are oil based, not wax based, and the more wax you have in is resistant to the uh, inks. So if you put down wax and then you put weak, uh, ink over it, the ink cannot penetrate the wax is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So when you're using it over the polychromos or any other oil based pencil, it will go over what you colored. So you want to keep that in mind. 
I'm just going to darken that area while I'm here. <laughs> and maybe darken over here. I got to go up the side of the page anyway. I'm just going to go up like that. Darken that tree up a little bit. And darken up there a little more. Okay. Now I'm going to get, because that should be dry, the black one out, the black soot. Take our paper and we're going to go up in this area here. I'm going to ink that up. And we're going to go over this area in the black. Bring it down a little bit. Make sure we get that edge nice and black. And we can bring that lightly down into this blue area. some of that. Okay. Move these crayons off the book. I'm going to go in with, we have a um, dark indigo pencil. And like in these areas, I think this will work. I don't know. I don't know if that's scraping it up or what. Okay, I can lay it down on some of it. the paper. Take a little of that Payne's Gray. Just run it around the bottom down here. That seems to work a little better. We can bring in some black up here. And just darken that up a little bit.
Anything else we can darken? This is just you know, touch up from what we did before. So we darkened this area and we have to darken it up a little bit. So I'm just bringing in the black and kind of giving it a little more depth there in places. And uh, we're going to have to add in some whiskers here because I've kind of covered them up. Darken this guy up a little bit. I was going to bring in some dark green. I thought I brought in a pencil, but I didn't. I'm going to throw in some deep cobalt green into these green areas. Yeah, it's kind of blue. It's okay, we got blue up there. darker green that I have. I have to go to another pencil set though because the other one doesn't have one. Where are they? Okay. We got some Derwent uh, colors. This is forest and this is olive green or olive earth. So that'll bring us back down into the brownish colors instead of the bluish colors. And this one is a nice dark And that's what I was after, a dark, dark, deep green.
You could see that, I hope. I have the camera up high enough. I'm hoping it's getting everything. Back in with the olive. Turn the book a little bit. Just adding it in everywhere. I think it needs a little green. And this is the forest green can. <laughs> okay. I think we'll just add a little bit more of the dark up here and then we'll be done. So, wherever the black is, can add a little in here. Then I'm going to pull in the um, looking for my water brush, a little bit more of the black.
going to kind of run a light wash of black over that. There's a little bit of color coming through. I'm just going to cover it up. Wrong color. Got a little black over here, so we're just going to go in with a little more of the blue. And blend those two together. Just putting this all over my desk. I just got my little white cat over there. Put a little more over here. I don't want it to look like it's got white in it, so we just want to add a little more in there. Just getting a little bit more. I need a little water on the brush. We're going to call that. I could do this all day. <laughs> I got little, little spots all over my hand. Here. <laughs> I'll show you. Look, I got spots all over my hand. I'm so sorry. <laughs> didn't need to see that. <laughs> and we clean out the brush. You just have to squeeze this brush and it wipes out really clean. I'll leave a link down below for this one. Kind of like my new favorite one. Anyway, it's still got to dry a little bit there. I don't know if I'm going to put a little splatter up there or not. Um, I'll think about it. But what I'll do is take a picture of it when it's uh, finally all dry and leave it at the end of the video. If you have little stars in the sky, you, you know how I do that. I just take white acrylic paint and tap it with some with a paintbrush. Put it in and little dots show up. That might be cute. I don't know. But the rest of the picture looks good. So I'll leave a picture at the end. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video. <laughs> Bye now. Take care everyone.